Hey everyone, last book of the series, the uh, Ruby Circle Bloodline series. And this book wraps up everything at the very, very end. And, it, and just a whole lot of different, like, outrageous stuff happens to make it seem like it won't. But it does. And first, uh, Joel... Jill's still kidnapped. Uh, Sydney's still hanging out in the apartment, not leaving the apartment. And her old t uh, high school teacher slash um, witch teacher shows up with a cat, um, puts a spell on Sydney to turn her into a cat so she could escape the compound area of uh, the vampire court to go find Jill because she gets a letter in the mail saying that someone has Jill and that she needs to come over, he go to a certain place and ends up have going through this, uh, this like breadcrumb, uh, situation and ends up back in Palm Springs and ends up being one of the, the woman who she thought killed she killed in like a couple of books uh, ago, like a rival, really powerful rival witch. And she ends up defeating her uh, in like in an epic battle in uh, Wolfie's garage, ends up freezing her in, um, freezing her so she's like a statue and all the witches of the community uh, needs to figure out what to do with her so it's like their own like little justice system and she ends up go they end up figuring out the warriors to have jill so she ends up go uh going into the war warriors undercover her and uh eddie one of the bodyguard guys that's actually jill's boyfriend and they end up going in there undercover under magical like Re face in reinstruction so no one will recognize them. Sneaks in there, gets the information that they need, does this whole vampire sp uh, spell thing to escape, and then goes back, escapes, finds out where Jill's at, goes to Colorado, and gets Jill out, and the, uh, uses like a magical spell because the witch put a demon on Jill's cell to get her out. So they get her out and then Jill goes home with Eddie, finishes high school at court, and then uh, Sydney and Adrian lives happily ever after. But in order to get to that point at the very end, they um, had to make a deal with the devil, the Atlanteus and saying like she got information from the warriors book saying some of the Atlantis were looking for him so she gave him a few her old boss like a few names to grant uh, freedom for adrian and cindy and then in the middle of all everything that's going on and uh, the witches were hunting the bad witch back in Palm Springs. And Sydney and Adrian was like pretty much saying, everyone was saying like, S just stand by. We got this from now. We'll let you know when you, uh, when we would need you. So in order, so in the meantime, so they'll feel useful. They found another spirit users of, uh, a, a sister, sorry, my voice is going off, a sister who ends up, when they finally find her, she's pregnant, and the, in this world, the only way a dumpy could get pregnant is she slept with a Maroi, but she never did. She slept with another dumpy and the only way that that could happen, apparently, is spirit magic got used on them, so when she was a Shkoi, and a spirit user used magic on her to turn her back into a dumpy air. So it was, the magic was still flowing with her. So she ended up getting pregnant by her dumpy air boyfriend. But since this would be like the very first time it's ever happened, she didn't want like 
the child to get taken away from her from like the scientists and everyone like making experiments on him or anything so she ends up running away hiding and her spirit user sister ends up going mentally crazy because she used up all her spirit magic to try to find her and when Adrian finally found her find out what she was pregnant find out that uh that her boyfriend, the other Dampierre, got her pregnant and she ends up running out into the middle of the woods to have the baby because she didn't want anyone taking the baby. So, and she ends up handing the baby over to Adrian and Adrian tried to uh, kneel the father to get him to be the father, but he didn't want, like, wanted to keep the mother's uh, wishes true because if he ends up being the father then the question of how that happened would come up so she uh neil ended up pretty much just uh walking away from the situation and sydney and adrian ended up uh raising the kid on their uh as their own and dimitri and rose gets engaged after uh, the vampire series they're the main couple in the vampire series and they're like a supporting couple in this series they ended up getting engaged and everyone's living ever happily ever after in this by the end of this book and this is a great book series i would say it is it gets a little dramatic it gets a little like get to the point get to the point I would say somewhere around 16 and 17 would be the probably the appropriate age group but for I wouldn't say any younger because it does get a little violent but if you are in the mood for a new book series I would definitely recommend this but I would recommend reading the Vampire Academy first since that's the original series and always thank you for stopping by see you next time bye